And what I hate the most is that I record this part of the video late at night and I have to be silent so that I don't wake everybody up. But how the f I get out of here? Hey guys, in this video I decided to punish myself by testing out for the first time Windows 8. Yeah, believe it or not, I never used Windows 8 or 8.1. I made the jump from Windows 7 directly to Windows 10. But it was not something on purpose. Don't think that I pursued a one-man crusade against Windows 8. No, I just didn't care that much at the time for laptops and operating systems. The main focus for me back then was playing mobile games and routing phones. So Windows 8 came and went and I did not even notice. Not even the switch to Windows 10 was immediate for me. The first time I've installed Windows 10 was 3 years after its release. So yeah. Of course that doesn't mean that I had absolutely no idea about Windows 8. I do remember the fuss that it created. Like not having the startup menu. A thing which for me sounded just crazy to hear. You know, a Windows without a start button. Because tablets were a big thing back then. They tried to make this OS some sort of hybrid for everything. PC, laptop, tablet, phone. So there was nothing about it that really interested me. Today Windows 8 is considered one of the worst operating systems of all time, if not THE worst. And because of that, and the fact that I skipped it, only makes it fair for me to give it a try. I mean, why should I be the only one who got away with it? Who knows, maybe I will even love it, maybe this video will actually have a happy end. It took me a while, I'm not gonna lie, it did took me a while to find a Windows 8 ISO. Not 8.1, which you can still download from Microsoft. No, I wanted the original Windows 8, the full bad experience. Because from what I understood, Windows 8.1 was slightly better with some improvements like bringing back the start button. I still cannot believe Microsoft really did this, honestly. Now, the reaction part of this video, I will record it later in the evening, probably at night, when I have more free time. I mean, for you will be a short 2 seconds transition, but for me it will be a few hours from now. So in case I sound somehow different, silent, is because I don't want to wake up the house. Where? What? What is this? Escape doesn't work and Alt Tab. How I get out of here? Bing Travel. I don't. Okay, so the Windows key works. So if I. Okay, the Windows key works. So let's. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. This makes me a little nervous right now. Okay, desktop, I saw. Dex okay. Yeah, let me change. Yes, yes, right click. Screen resolution. Now I feel a little like home. Okay, I'm on a um, known environment here. I have the desktop. Hip changes. Okay. Let me take this out. I don't like to see this thing here up all the time. Okay. Let's go back to the start. So, okay, it was here. Yeah. Um, mail people, messaging, desktop, what's this? Calendar, photos, settings. Where are the settings? How I go to... Change, no. Oh, okay. okay, okay, so what we have here, this is search, share, start, and settings. And they don't make it easy, they don't make it easy, everything is so fucking different, like, this is not Windows, so I really understand how everybody felt back then, because you had Windows XP, Windows 7, 98, 95, Millennium, they all had the same pattern, you know, from good OS to bad OS, but they were all similar, you know, you had the startup button, you had the start menu, you had everything, and all of a sudden comes this and completely changes everything, of course it, it made a mess, I do understand this because I'm very, very confused, okay, yeah, even this looks different. Okay, it doesn't look bad. 
activate windows personal user notification search and how i go out of here right now again escape doesn't work how i go back from from again with windows key no this and from here i have to go to desktop i'm i'm really stupid right now because i don't i don't get it so here in the test bar i have nothing but i had settings so this must appear somewhere if i check task manager yeah i have pc settings and task travel and task but how do i close these things there must be something i didn't do research about it to see how i wanted to to have the, f <laughs> the oh it's, this sounds so stupid the full windows 8 experience one time when i'm here on the desktop everything seems so familiar but in the moment i'm here i'm totally lost and i find this very very difficult but for example if i want to go out of here i tried all the combi of this but how do i close the settings i have to go in the taskbar in the in the task manager every time i have no idea okay so these are just stupid apps can you uninstall this uninstall uninstall i take everything out that feels good you know it wasn't a bad what now it occupies all the space all the screen and this is what i don't understand why it has to take all the screen i don't like it and what i hate the most is that i record this part of the video late at night and i have to be silent so that i don't wake everybody up but how the f i get out of here ah right click close right click close right click close i'm still in the settings how i closed everything how am i still in the settings and how i close the settings task man cough So, what I think about Windows 8. After two hours of trying to figure out this operating system, I came out with some conclusions. First, and most important, yes, it is one of the worst operating systems of all time. In this Hall of Fame, I don't take in consideration operating systems like Temple OS, Red Star OS, or whatever shady Linux distro. And another reason why it's the worst, in my opinion, because, well, it's Microsoft. Which means the bigger the company, the greater the fail. I guess. You have to think about it, how many PCs and laptops are sold every year with Windows pre-installed. Imagine now all those probably millions of devices sold with this crap OS. There are two operating systems in one, and none of them does a good job. No start button, no start menu, because I cannot call that thing a menu with those styles which you cannot transform in icons or whatever. You cannot make the classic desktop as default desktop. All these apps that it's clear they are designed for touchscreen and not for mouse. The fact that I could not get rid of those apps. Every time I was in an app or settings, there was no way of closing it. And every time I thought I closed it, they were still running in task manager. Okay, I bet there is a way, a catch, but for someone who uses Windows regularly, daily, since forever, this thing should come naturally. Windows is not an operating system that you have to figure it out. You are supposed to know Windows already, no matter the version. I was on Windows 10, my laptop made the Windows 11 upgrade, and I went back to work as usual. Everything was where it's supposed to be, and I haven't missed a bit. And so was back then when I switched from Windows XP to 7. Windows 8 is not like this, it's something else entirely. And I'm very, very, very glad that I skipped it. I guess it was meant to be. Ah, well, that's it. Cheers.